Here it is on Beltane Bay, 15 degrees Taurus. I'm at my outdoor working space underneath my beautiful tulip poplar tree. It's definitely Beltane because all the flowering branches of May are with their white flowers are, are finally in bloom. Well, they have been for about a week. I normally make a, a flower crown. I've got several made of silk flowers, but because today's the day and it's traditional and our um, Beltane rites tonight are over a Zoom meeting, I thought I'd, um, as my Beltane magic, I'd create a flower chaplet for a crown. Usually I'll use some sort of a wire base like this. This is um, raffia wrapped ribbon, floral ribbon, and I take three long pieces and just make a big braid. And then I usually put a loop on one end and just a straight piece on the other so that it can be adjustable to your head. You just would, um, you know, put it around, see what you need, slip this through the post and then bend it down to make, make it your size. And it's kind of hard to say what that would be until all the flowers are in there because it gets bulky and it's hard to determine in the beginning. Anyway, um, I wanted to, to make one from what's blooming in my yard. I wish I knew what these actually were. Beautiful, they have four petals and a little white tuft of stamen in the middle but anyway and then my tulip poplar is in bloom and that's my guardian tree I'm sitting underneath this beautiful brow bow branches right now and so anyway poplars are a tree of Saturn which is good for putting things in order um, Anyway, I also chose eight blossoms because that's a number of Saturn and I don't know, for some reason I just wanted to make that today on this Beltane Monday. So I think what I'll do is begin, I've got some of this floral wi florist wire and um, I'll pull off a piece of that. Well, I'm not able to take it off, I'm just going to leave it on there, but I'm going to just, uh, I've pulled eight of these blossoms, I think I'll just start at the back. And so what I do... You see I left a little bit of stick on there. Slip that into one of these weaves. Now I don't even know if I need to put it in it. This may not even need a base in the end, but it's going to be a temporary crown. So I'm just going to wrap a little wire around at the end here. And then as I, I can wrap around with the spool, I'll just add another one each time. Let's see. We'll put some of the larger ones at the back and some of the fresh smaller ones at the front. And I do want it to be rather large and crazy. I like all the leaves. I'm not going for subtle here. It's exuberant in spring to me. Beltane is about living life to the fullest and enjoying humanity, I think, or being human, I should say. Taurus is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. Beltane, of course, being 15 degrees Taurus, that would be the height of Taurus. Sensuality, physical pleasure. It's going to take a little extra ribbon or wire, I think. When you've got this sort of wire, you can just weave it around hold it in place without being too shy with it. Um, to me this is about the, the, the fruit of the land coming into bloom and taking responsibility for the partnerships we make and the things we create in the world. We say that in Wicca that the God is, you know, rises and falls with the season. You know, sacrificial king in the fall who, who dies like all the plants to feed us. And the goddess is eternal. She joins her king in the underworld, but the land is forever. We all come from the goddess, and to her we shall return like a drop of rain flowing to the ocean. Well, from the charge of the goddess, it said, uh, from her perspective, 
I've been with you from the beginning, and I am that which is attained at the end of desire. So, I think about those things. Also, it's about consent to me. Um, the goddess chooses her consort. She is the land, but she finds someone to rule with her, as the mythos goes help to create life, but then to take the full responsibility for its wise governance and care. So everybody talks about how Beltane is the wedding, and it is the wedding. It's the wedding where the two people who fell in love at Imolk as they emerged and Fertilize their union, if you will, at Ostara. And then Beltane, knowing that they've what they've created from their love, takes full responsibility for that and partners on choice, by choice, by free will. So no shotgun weddings here. Only full responsibility and sovereignty. So I think, I think Beltane is about sovereignty and, and exercising one's free will to not only create but to, to then govern their own lives and their own sphere of influence responsibly. So Saturn being the lawmaker, the, you know, the governor of such things orderliness and organization and law and justice. That makes sense. Wow, it's going to be quite the crown. Eight blossoms of the tulip. Poplar. And now I'm going to put in some of these beautiful branch of May. Let's see. I'm going to start with this one. Cut off some smaller bits. In. Let's see. Now that that wire is there, we can just sort of slip them in. Anyway, this is what I've been thinking about doing this year. Normally, on the day of, I'm kind of busy, you know, running around and making sure the rights are all arranged and we have what we need and so forth. And so there's not a whole lot of time for crafting in the moment. Things need to be done in advance for the one leading the event. But since this year, I'm not leading, there's the, the High Priest and Priestess of our Coven this year have put together this online ritual where we're each going to enact, you know, from our own homes. But together over Zoom and sing some songs. And you know, we can't do the Maypole dance. That is the very largest of the, the Great Rite in Token. The Great Rite being the, the act of sexual union. Everybody knows that it's a sort of fertility dance, the Maypole dance. But what it really signifies is the, the union of anima and animus within us all, the union of the two who move as one within us. We all carry both within us. And we signify that in the actual great right, obviously, where two people, any two people, regardless of their sex or gender identity, enact that union but it's also done in the great rite and token when we bless the cup the chalice and the blade so let's see first first run dry run here we'll see how this goes we'll trim some wire
when we crown ourselves with fl with flowers, it we we represent that we're taking kingship, queenship, sovereignty over our lives and our land. We crown ourselves in the beauty of nature. Let's see. Woo! This is some kind of something right here. Okay, I want to do a test. Shape. All right, let's see. This is fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna need to trim a few leaves. Let's see. I think this guy can go. And maybe this guy. Maybe they just need to be tucked up a bit. I'm telling you what. This is some serious serious crownage, I tell you. Ha ha. I think they just need to be battened down a little bit. Let's see. Now that I've got a fit around the back, I've folded back the, the wire and I know exactly how big I need this to be at this point. I think I can trim this a little bit and then work to tighten it some more. So a little more wire. I'll also probably use some ribbon before it's all said and done. All right, let's see how this looks on round two. Ah, ah, ah. excellent. I can totally dance a maypole in this crown. It's not terribly uncomfortable either. How do you like it? What do you think, internet? The lovely month of May and my Beltane floral chaplet with my tulip poplar blossoms and whatever this beautiful dainty white flower. Let's just say that I consider this a weaving of the Saturn flower being like the god and this beautiful white dainty flower which I wish I knew her name but to me I see that as the goddess and together they weave anima and animus eros and logos so that I can be a person of equal balance between my my passion my care and compassion for other people my relationships with other people but also my higher thought and will of my own personal drive that's your logos, your eros is more how you enter relationship with other people, that's very goddess. And to me it's the union of the two. Beltane is the union of the two. And you can use sexual imagery if you want, or you can just see that you are your own blend of intelligence, of will, of compassion and love, and of earthy manifestation and nurturance, so that we can be both, we can be all. And in the balance of that, Regardless of what meat suit we're driving, we are complete. We are a whole within ourselves. I recently had a realization, call it a Beltane Eureka, where in the language of English at any rate, the word whole, as in there's a hole in the ground, or there's a hole in my soul, or my missing piece, H-O-L-E, and whole, W-H-O-L-E, as in I am complete and there are no missing parts. Those are two words that are antonyms. They are mutually ex exclusive. How can you have a whole and be whole? They're pronounced the exact same way. Isn't that a beautiful irony? And the only difference between the two words is a double U which reminds me of the mirror image. We all are our image and our mirror image, yin and yang. We're a spectrum of possibility which lies between anima and animus, logos and eros. And we are constantly, as human beings, regardless of our physical sex or primary gender identity, we are on that spectrum of possibility seeking a happy midpoint balance. That's sort of the purpose of spiritual work. 
and the more balance we can find in ourselves between thought and action, between compassion and what we create in the world, we become sovereign of our own land, our own land, but also the sphere of influence that we have in the world. But the, the truth of the matter is, is that the difference is a W, the mirror image of yourself. Above and below we are our mirror images, right? And so there's the illusion of our separateness here in the middle world. And then there's the, the truth, which is that we are interconnected. They seem like opposites. They are mirror images of each other. So you have to remember that both things can be true at the same time. Here in the middle world, you can be have a sense of longing of, for interconnection, for companionship, for coupling, for finding what seems to be missing in outside things or outside people. As long as that's healthy, that's okay. That's part of the middle world. You know, it's in balance. But what is also true is that you are whole and complete within yourself and there is nothing missing. You are both God and Goddess. You are, go you are Goddess with a slash between the two Ds. All that is different between I am incomplete and I am whole and complete is a W. We are the two who move as one. And the two who move as one move in divine love and all that they create is beautiful. It isn't always easy. It isn't always pleasant and something we want, but it's all for the best. So here we are on our solitary Beltane. That's, that's the message that I received this turning, my divine inspiration. We live the mirror, and the mirror is within us. We are whole and complete. Blessed Beltane, everyone.